overflowing ministry that brought mighty revival in the Middle East, Dubai, and still continues to overflow, imparting love, life, and life in abundance in Christ Jesus to great multitudes in many nations. Jesus loves you. He will wipe all your tears. Today, as we come to you in this In My Father's House broadcast, which is a part of the King's Revival Church International, I humble myself and the great Holy Spirit brings the study on the Word of God. The Word. Beloved ones, it's the Word Jesus Christ is the Word. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word of God, and the Word is God, and the Word was with God, and this Word became flesh. He is Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, the name of Jesus Christ is the Word of God. So, the Word has been in the beginning, which means just even when the time began, the Word is there. The Word is from everlasting to everlasting to everlasting. There is no beginning for the Word. The Word is Jesus. He is God. He is God who came in flesh to save us all, to forgive us and to make us the children of the living God. So the word is forever existing. 
even before time started even before time began the word is there and the word will be there the word is god that's the first truth we all learn from the great holy spirit and this word gives life to us this word brings life to us the bible says his word is life and spirit therefore dear ones no matter who you are no matter what struggles you go through in life when we come to this living word the bible as we read this word life comes to us the life of god eternal life our heavenly father's life eternal everlasting life comes into our spirit into our soul and even heals our bodies to have long life long life even until rapture and eternal so the word brings life to us dear ones the bible says those who love the word of god have great peace today human beings or in general humanity is running to and fro to find peace people go through great sorrow difficulties in life seeking for peace everyone needs peace no matter who we are we need peace in our homes we need peace in our personal lives we need peace in our workplaces we need peace in our environment in in our nations in the countries we need peace everywhere and the bible says peace is here whoever loves this living word life giving word receives peace receives peace so no matter what you go through my dear beloved ones come to this living word there is peace peace and peace because word of god is jesus himself his name is the prince of peace and therefore the word brings peace to us the word brings faith in our lives many times we feel so tired in life we find it difficult to believe we find it difficult to believe there is a god who loves us we find it difficult to believe that god will do everything for us even though we hear it even though we have known it but the bible says the word of god when we read this word of god the the word has such power the word has such power it's divine power it's heaven's power the word creates faith within us faith comes from the word of god and whose faith is this this is the faith of jesus the faith comes from jesus to all of us through the word of god and the bible says this faith brings victory in our lives victory in our lives dear children first john fifth chapter verse 4 psalm 119 verse 165 peace comes life comes john 6 verse 63 yes his word is life and more than all faith comes and dear beloved ones the word of god is the love of god the word of god is the love of god 
because God is love. What he speaks is love. When Jesus spoke, the Bible says his words are full of grace. Grace is the infinite love of God. Grace is the infinite love of Jesus. So the word brings the love of God, our Father. The many times people are wondering, does God really love us? Is there anyone to love me? How many people today fall sick mentally, emotionally, frustrated, discouraged? My dear people of God, depressive thoughts come and that leads to various physical issues, sicknesses, worry, tension. The question is, is God truly loving me? Does he love me? God is our father. The word says God is our father. Through the blood of Jesus, through the blood that was shed for us, the blood of Jesus. So believe no matter who you are, this word tells you or me that we are the children of God and he is our father. Jesus shed his blood for everyone, everyone and anyone to make us his children. And the love of God, the love of the Father is in this word of God. So whenever you feel that you are not loved enough, whenever you feel there is no one to love you, no one to really care for you or be concerned about you, in other words, Many people go through loneliness, loneliness, feeling so rejected. The word of God is there. Take this word of God. Jesus says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. John 13 verse 1. Jesus says, John 14 verse 21, I will love you and manifest my love to you. How many such words are there? This whole Bible is the love of God. The more you read this Bible, the faith will come within you that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus said, I will never leave you, never forsake you. Matthew 28, verse 20. All your worries and tensions and depressions, all will leave. Bible says, when perfect love comes, all fear will go away. So the word of God is love. Word of God is life. Word of God is peace. Word of God brings victory, victory in life through the faith in Christ Jesus. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Word of God brings joy. His word is delight unto us. Psalm 119 verse 77. Oh, his word is delight. His word is joy. He brings joy to us. We have sorrows and worries in our minds. But when we read this word, this word has all power to bring joy into our minds, into our thoughts. That's why in all humility, I urge you, brethren, to read this word of God. Read this word of God. He loves you and speak this word to yourself. Speak this word to yourself. In the Bible, there was a woman who was virtually given up by all physicians. She was almost dying when she heard of Jesus. She said to herself, if I touch his garment, just if I touch his garment, I will be healed. She told herself. She repeatedly told herself. So we must tell the word of God to ourselves. 
when we read the word of God, we must read it to ourselves because this word is power. This word is power. The Bible says he holds all things by the word of his power. He holds our life. He holds our future all by this word. This word has all power to create. He spoke and it came into being. The word of God, the word of Jesus is all power. So we, when we say these words to ourselves, when we read this word and repeat this word to ourselves, the power of God, the power of heaven comes into our mind, into our bodies, into our spirit. My loving children, oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. The word of God has all power to heal us and deliver us. We are living in the world with so many sicknesses and fear and pain. The word delivers us and heals us. The, not the words of a man, but the words of Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 20. Yes, the word of God heals us from all diseases and delivers us from all works of darkness because Jesus defeated Satan, sin, death, hell, curse when he rose from the dead. Jesus lives. The word of God says Jesus lives and because Jesus lives, we shall live also. So the word heals us. The word delivers us. So when we repeat the word of God to ourselves, we are healed. The Bible says we are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. The word cleanses us. The word cleanses us. We have to be pleasing to God our Father. We have to be pure and holy. We can't do it by ourselves. But if we have the desire that I have to be clean and pure and holy, the word cleanses us. The word cleanses us, all of us, so we can be pleasing to God. We can be found right in the sight of God, our Father, all the time. The Word cleanses us. The Word cleanses us. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you, my great children. As we study this Word of God, oh, the Word of God comforts us. We, everyone needs comfort. The word of God comforts us. Psalm 119 verse 76. Jesus comforts us in times of sorrow, in times of pain. Many times people feel there is no one to comfort. Don't trust man. Trust this word of God. When you read this word of God, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the mighty power of God comes and comforts us, removes the sorrow, removes the pain and cheers us up, cheers us up. And the word of God gives hope, gives hope to us that everything is going to be all right. The word of God gives a living hope. First Peter, first chapter, verse 3. Lively hope comes. Many times we feel hopeless, hopeless in life. Many times, many people feel they have no future. My loving children, just this word gives hope for us in our life. That's the power of God. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Everyone wants to prosper in life. 
We all want to prosper in life. Everyone wants to do well in life. God our Father, God our Father wants to see His children do well in life. To live comfortably in life with peace and joy on this earth. With good health until rapture and eternal with Him in heaven. And the Bible says, when we meditate on this word of God, day and night, Psalm 1, verse 2, verse 3, Psalm 1, verse 2, verse 3, when we meditate, when we give time to this word of God, my loving children, no matter how busy, how occupied we may be, no matter how many excuses and reasons we may have, I humbly request you, beg of you, read this word of God. Read, read this word of God. Repeat this word of God to yourself. This is life. That is power. That is the love of God, our Father. And this word the Bible says, Psalm 1, verse 2 and 3, when we meditate on this word of God, whatever we do, we will prosper. Whatever we do, we will prosper. The answer is in the Bible. And the Bible also says in Joshua 1, verse 8, God says, let this word let this word be in our hearts and in our lips that we will be successful. We will be successful in life on this earth until rapture and eternal. My loving children, this is very important. One day when there was a multitude of people, Jesus preached to them and the disciples said, it's late, send them away. There is no place we can give them food. We can give them food. It is late in the night. It was a desert place. And Jesus said, you feed them. There were thousands of people. The disciples did not know what to do. They didn't have money. It was a desert and it was a night. And Jesus said, you feed them. My loving children, and suddenly one disciple said, there is a little boy who has five loaves and two fish. How did that come? Jesus told them, very important question in the Bible. Very important question God is asking me and you and everyone. No matter what our difficulties are, no matter what our challenges are, no matter what stress and tensions and uncertainties you dear people go through, no matter who you are, the question of a loving Father, loving Father God is asking me and you, how many loaves do you have? How many loaves do you have? Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. He is asking, my son, my daughter, I know your difficulties, I know your pain, I know your agony. I'm going to help you. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you. I'm going to do the miracle. But for me to do the miracle, how many loaves do you have? He's asking me, you, what does that mean? How much of word of God how much of word of God is in our lives? How much of time, how much importance we give to this word of God? How much importance and interest, interest and importance we give to this word of God? We give importance to many things in life. Our interest is many things and we want the result that we want to be prosperous, we want to do well, we want the result, yes. God wants to give us that. He is our Father. He loves us. But He's asking me and you, how much of Word of God do you have? My loving children, how many loaves we have in our life? How many chapters of God's Word we read? We read every day, every day, every day. How many chapters? 
the more we have the word of God, the more we have heaven in our life. The more we have the word of God, the more we have God, our living Savior, Jesus, in our life. The more we have the word of God, the more life of God we have, more character of God we have. Oh, the power of the Lord Almighty we have. Oh, how many loaves do you have? The answer is here in the Bible. Rejoice, my children. Get started today. Let our importance in life and interest in life be in this word of God, living word of God. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. This word of God is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path. Sometimes in life we don't know where to go, what decision to make, what to say. Every one of us go through. The Bible says the word of God is a lamp unto our feet feet, a light unto our path. Many times we get stuck. We don't know what decision to make. We don't know how to go about situations. Come to this word. Come to this word. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God will speak to us through this word. His word will direct us. His word will lead us. His word will guide us. His word is a protection to us. His word is a shelter to us. He holds us by his word. We are well protected in this word. We are well sheltered and shielded by this word. My loving children, this word is God in flesh. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Today, my loving children, this word I'm going to pray very shortly that our great God will give us an interest and open our desire to give importance to this word and to love this word. This word is the truth. Everything appears to be like truth in this world. That's why many of us get distracted, deceived. The truth is the word of God. John 17, verse 17. Jesus Christ is the truth. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He lives, he lives, he is risen from the dead. He has defeated Satan, sin, death, hell, curse, and all hell. He shed his blood to forgive us and save us. We are saved by this word. We are saved by this word. First Peter, first chapter, verse 23. That is the truth. We are saved from death. We are saved from hell. We are saved from the hands of Satan. We are saved from sickness, disease. All are defeated when Jesus rose from the dead. This word saves us. So rejoice. This is the truth. This is the truth. And when we know the truth, the truth will set us free to live rejoicing on this earth with joy, peace, until rapture and eternal. I'm going to pray now. Our loving Father will do it for you. Loving Father, in all humility I come to you. Your beloved ones, every one of them, no matter who they are, Jesus, let your word let your word fill their hearts, a desire for your word, a love for your word, an interest for your word. Holy Spirit, Spirit of Jesus, I thank you, God. You will pour this interest. You will pour this interest into their hearts and minds and lives. And this word will bless them. This word will give them life and life and life in abundance. This word will give them long life, well satisfied with salvation until rapture and eternal. I thank you, Jesus. You are the word. You are the love. You are the life for us. Thank you, Father. You have done it for your children. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. See you again. See you again always until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you.
lady is called Betty. And for the last six months she couldn't walk. E non si può curare che gli occhi la faccia non ci si vede. My Lord, And tonight God healed her. She can walk. E lo catunda a moglie za. Cara sono non cotambura. Ask ask her to walk up and down. Tambura co tambura. Go walk up and down. Tambura. Ask her to come back. Can walk. Wonderful hey. Jesus. Wonderful. Glory. Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. E ringia Gesù vi conosco suoi. Alleluia. This is Liliana. Este es Liliana. And for many years, durante muchos años, she noticed that the color of her blood was not normal. Ella vio que el color de su sangre no era normal. And yesterday she could prove it is completely normal. Y ayer ella pudo comprobar que su sangre volvió a su color normal. Jesus, come here. Completely normal. Totalmente normal. Totalmente normal. Oh, who healed her? ¿Quién la sanó? ¿Quién la sanó?